Well, a great white shark is making a splash on the Great White Way. The new play, The Shark is Broken, centers on the making of Jaws and all the production problems that came along with it, leaving its stars to their own devices on a boat. Watch this. Okay, well, what do you think it's about? I think it's about responsibility. When the government puts profit before people, if you can't get rid of the bastards, you got to take care of the mess yourself. Even if it scares you for the good of the community. Wow. wow. Deep. What about you, Robert? What do you think it's about? It's about a shock. <laughs> yes, but what's it really about? It's really about a shock. The and star Colin Donnell is with us now. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. This show is so good. And you think, okay, it's one set. It's three guys. It's so great, though. I mean, it's such a good show. You, you know, you play Roy Sch Scheider to a T. When you first saw yourself as Roy, what was your first reaction? Did, was it the glasses that finally it? Was did it was the glasses. I mean, you nailed it. I don't know if it changes the shape of my face or whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. but as soon as I put them on, every single night, actually, I'm like, oh, there he is. Let's go do a play. Oh, interesting. It's fun. Did you have to go rewatch the movie before you did this? Was it just, was that part of your homework? Or because I think some people stay away from watching the original. No, I mean I think it's look, it's a great movie to begin with. It's a it's a wonderful source material for us. So yeah, I've seen it like five or six times since yeah. we started the process. But it's we're not playing the actors as their characters yeah. in the movie. So there was a lot of looking at. Uh, interviews of these guys from the 1970s and luckily they were such famous actors that there's a trove a of stuff see. out there. Thank God for YouTube. I, mean, I know. It's awesome. It was nice to be able to you know touch on all those pieces where we could sort of get to know them as human beings as and not their characters. Yeah I mean the dynamic between the three of you is really excellent. Um, how do you, what do you think Roy's role in this group of three men was? Because <laughs> they're all pretty unique. Yeah and I mean especially Richard Dreyfuss and, and Robert Shaw were such outsized characters and they certainly are in our play. Yeah. And Roy is sort of the 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 compass. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's the balance being between these two really exorbitant characters. Uh, so it's tricky, but it's fun for me because I just get to be involved in every single moment of the play as much as I possibly can. And yeah. I, I love all that reacting and, and just being present with the two of them. Yeah, because both of them are very big characters yes. in this, but you hold your own as Roy, who is much more reserved. Um, and you have one scene, I, mean, I just said reserved, and that <laughs> doesn't really apply to this, but everybody is talking about this. You are in nothing but a speedo. I mean, I know that you share your workouts. <laughs> online but I mean did, were you this ready for this role or did you have to kind of amp things up you know I mean like I love working out I do and yeah. I recently started sharing some of the workouts online just because it, there we are because uh, it, it, it's fun for me and but it's um th that particular scene of me and my speedo was added for this production and so when I saw it I was like oh you know what maybe we'll dial things in a little bit more because Taking off your clothes in front of 800 <laughs> plus people every yeah. night is um, a first for me. Yeah. And uh, I really just wanted to, you know, Roy was a, a slender gentleman in yeah. his day. And so I just wanted to, you know, be able to emulate that as much as possible. Yeah. I mean, you're a Broadway veteran, but um, this is your first time on Broadway as a dad. You know, you were just talking to me about this before we started this interview, that it's kind of, you do think about that now that you're in this new schedule and you think, oh my God, I'm going to miss things, right? Yeah. How has it been for you? I mean, I'm still learning. Uh, and I will say that, you know, it's such a huge credit to my wife, Patty Muren, who yeah. of course you know. Who we love. Um, yes. She is <laughs> I know so you do wonderful. Too. Yeah, I do very, very much. And it, it she is so supportive and takes on so much responsibility um, because I'm gone quite a bit. And yeah. I, as I was just saying, like, I had a moment where I thought about all the bedtimes that I have to miss over yeah. the course of this run. And it's worth it. I love this show and I love it. being here and I love performing. Uh, but you do sort of think about, you know, what you're what you're missing at home. Yeah, I mean, you make maybe you make choices differently after you have kids, but this was definitely, definitely worth it. It's yes. such a good show. You can catch The Shark is Broken playing now at the Golden Theater. For tickets, head to thesharkisbroken.com. Colin, good to see you. Thank you. Good to you. see you.